So the next step I recommend before you work out your storyboard too much is figure out what your characters are going to look like. Uh, in the uh, synth polygon assets that are simple assets, which I think are really easy to use, I'm going to recommend those, uh, especially if you don't have a fancy computer. Um, and so, you know, like I showed you a while ago, how to open uh, the different uh, files and you get a sense. Okay, so let's say this is the characters that I have. And now what I can do is uh, open the project in Unreal Engine. So if I go here uh, and click on, uh, well, as you can see, this is not unzipped. So you need to extract it first to extract it, which will take a few seconds. But as you see, it's super fast. If you pick some of the big pro uh, projects from the uh, marketplace, it takes forever. And then what you do is you basically Hit, click on this and one of the things it's going to do is ask you to open it with the, the version that you have so click OK and uh, I already have a, a version open so I'm just going to go to that to show you so inside that project now one of the first things you want to do is decide if you want to use this okay so I'm going to go with simple apocalypse and I have some of the characters here and so what I'm going to do is click them up and look at them on the screen so I'm going to just say this is the guy I like. I really like this guy. I'm going to use him. Okay. So uh, that's kind of what you're in the process of doing. And I actually have two packs in one here. Um, I can show you how to do this. You basically have to open the two projects and migrate the content over, which is uh, very easy to do. Just ask uh, me to show you. Um, so here's a bunch of the animations that you have for this character. So you have here the knight. So again, I'll click on him. So I used him, this character in the scene that I, I just wanted a, you know, like a tough looking guy. And that's kind of what it, so what you're basically doing right now is you're finding your one or two characters. So to keep things simple, since we're beginners, I'm going to suggest not more than two characters really. And so once you've picked a character, so let's assume I'll, I'll go with this one again. Uh, so the next step is I need to find some animations for him. So what is it that I want happening in my scene? Well, as you saw in the trailer at the beginning of, I had this guy sitting there and thinking, or it was actually laughing. So I'll click on this. So here's what the animation looks like, and I can look at it. All right, I'm kind of happy about that. So that's the one that I brought in from Mixamo, which I'll show very shortly. So uh, basically, the green one is the one you bring in to your sequencer. And I'll explain what sequencer is a little bit later, but uh, it's un it's, a, it's different than when we made a game. We actually want the animation. We basically just drag them and put them wherever we want. And, you know, then we can zoom up to it by pressing the F key. And now you see he's not moving. But whenever you bring him into sequencer, you can also uh, press simulate. Um, I forget the hot key here. But simulate allows you to see what he would look like. Uh, be careful if you press play, it won't uh, allow you to see it. Or you can always just play from here and you can see what he looks like. Let's just, where is he exactly? Um, oh, there he is. So I can move around a little bit. And I can see what he, the animation looks like. Okay. Actually, the simulate is the best one. Let me look that up. So basically, uh, to see him, it's Alt-S, which is simulate. So Alt-S. So I press Alt-S, and you're going to see him um, right here. I'm trying to just select him here. Um, and, you know, you can also find Alt-S here. So you go uh, Play Mode, Simulate. So it's currently simulating. And just press, so you can see the action. You can move in to see what he really looks like. You're trying to decide, okay, does this look good? Uh, and, you know, these are the shots you're going to basically use. So I'm going to just pause this. So press uh, escape and it stops. Now, if ever you drag the scene, and as you can see, this is a massive scene. And like, oh, my God, I dropped him in and I don't remember where he is. If you can just click on him, press F, it zooms in, okay? Also, you can just type, because you know what it was called, because I, I remember I dragged in and it was called sitting. So I just typed in sitting and it will also find him in the world outlier. Now you can just scroll through here and you could probably also find him. And uh, th that's how you can kind of figure out, all right, so there's my character. Am I happy with this character? Uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk about animations and how to bring them in.
Okay, if you have any questions, let me know.